Yo guys, what's up? Attacking Toucans here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Now, the first thing you might notice is some settings I changed, which this is super exciting. I kind of didn't know you could do this, but I changed the render distance, so now things won't disappear in the distance, so you can see everything. Because originally, like, pieces of the tracks and things would disappear if you were too far away. But now, if I'm all the way zoomed out, everything still shows up. So, that is really freaking awesome. We can see the park from any distance we want. And I'm super excited about this. Best day of my life! Also, last episode when I was building all this stuff over here. Well, that was a bad voice crack. But when I was starting to build this castle right here. Um, a lot more peeps came into the park. About 400. But, yeah. But yeah, these paths are filled up quite a bit more. Are people riding the garter snake? They most definitely are. And I think, is the water park open yet? If not, let's open it. Let's go ahead and open this right now so peeps will start coming inside here. Because we can add on to it while there's guests inside the park. It is doable. And it will make this look even better. And I'm pretty sure opening the water park will get a lot more peeps into the park as well. At least I hope so. So our goals for today is... I want to finish this castle, definitely, because this castle definitely needs to be finished. I need to finish decorating around this lazy river. Also, I got some suggestions from the comments that I need to make a more definitive line to separate the different sections of the park, so I'll probably think of something to do that. Whether it be a fence or, like, terrain changes, I'm not exactly sure, but I'll come up with something. I want to add on a bit more to the water park, and I also... Uh, I'm not really sure. I guess we'll just kind of play it by ear after that point, but I have a couple goals. First things first, let's go ahead and give this pirate ship a name. I got lots of suggestions in the comments, but the one I picked came from a dude named Swate Man. I think that's what his name is anyways. And it is Trouble in Paradise. Now, the reason I picked this name was because of the relation. If you guys don't know, that's the name of LaRue's new album, and... I knew it was the name of LaRue's new album, and I kind of thought it was cute. Not really cute. It's not the right adjective. I just thought it was kind of cool, and it kind of fit the theme, so I'm going with it because I like pop music, okay? And then also I'm doing this new thing where I name Peeps after somebody in the comments, and today I'm going to name this kid right here with the really weird-looking face. His fa He has like an adult head and a kid body. That's funny. I'm going to name him after the commenter, Jacob Graciano. And I picked that name because I thought Graciano was a super cool name. Just so much fun to say. Graciano. Graciano? Okay. I think I spelled that right. Regardless, let's go ahead and get started today. So first thing I want to do is I want to build something right over here to add on to the water park. Let's go ahead and go into our water slide options and choose. I really want to add one of these H2O slide bowls. So... Not exactly sure how to build these. I've never built one before, I don't think. I'm just gonna go ahead and get a feel for it. What does this look like? Um, what even is that? Whoa, there's different options. You can either do one of the bowls, which I love these types of water slides, or you can do the funnels. Ooh, we should do one of each. I'm not really sure. Uh, but the bowls are so cool. Uh, uh, I wanna do both because they're so freaking epic. Okay, we're gonna do both. Awesome. This is going to be awesome as a blossom and a buttercup and a rose and a tulip. And that's all the flowers I know. So let's go ahead and build this sucker. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm not sure how I want to build this. I guess fast forwarding while I think. What you doing, Kyrie? So I have finally built these two slides. It took me a while to figure out exactly how I wanted them, but I think I like this setup. I wanted them both to have the same starting area relatively, so I could have the same just one path that climbs up instead of two. So it wouldn't look quite as messy, but I think I think this looks good. I like how this crosses over right here. Originally I was gonna have it be on this side. 
but the whole crossover thing right here really does just look nice. And the fact that this goes at an angle right here, I don't know. It's just really great. It's so fantastic. I'm saying I don't know a lot, but I really don't know. Also, our pool is already booming. Look at all these people swimming around. I've also got a lot of concern from people saying that the guests that ride down the slides are going to land on the people down here and kill them, and that I should make like a separate pool for the people to swim in compared to the water slides. The thing about this game is, I'm pretty sure no matter where you put the pools, their guests are dumb enough to swim in them regardless. So even though this pool right here is really small and obviously just for these water slides, the guests are going to swim in them anyways just to spite you. So there's really nothing we can do about it, but they won't get hurt since this is a video game, so we're okay. I also opened up these three rides up here, so guests can now go sliding on them. Let's go ahead and test these out. Let's try this one first. Which one is this? Typhoon. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> these screams are ear splitting. <laughs> Oh my god, that was so much fun! Oh my god! Look at her butt! Oh my god! Okay, let's go ahead and ride this one up here. Here we go. Gosh, I love this water park so much. It just gets better and better. And let's ride the Neptune, I believe. Guess we'll just test it out. Nope. Nope. Here we go. This is, yeah, the Neptune. I was right. We're going down, down in an earlier round. Cause baby, we're going down on water slide. I'll be your number one with a bullet. Whoa, that last part is pretty crazy. Wow, okay, that was super fun. And we will wait for a bit to ride the next two rides because I want to open them up first and such. So let's go ahead and build the entrances and exits. Alcatraz had to make an emergency stop. That's unfortunate. All right, so we want to go back to the pool settings, and we'll make a little pool thing right over here. Okay, that looks great, just as I imagined it. All right, so we have a little path that goes to the stairs, which I think looks a bit better, and we need some names for these two rides, so we need a name for the funnel ride and for the bowl. No weed references for the bowl thing. But yeah, these are looking pretty good. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it try it so hard okay so one thing i think i want to do is i want to have one of every type of water slide somebody also wanted me to do that i think we only have the family slide and the aqua blaster left the alcatraz is broken really here let's go ahead and hire some more mechanics we haven't done that in a while so that might be necessary okay the mechanics on his way he's just walking super slowly not even caring about anybody else just taking a sweet time not even going over the barriers he's just like doo -doo 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 -doo. back to the water park everything's looking nice and pretty mad hatter just had to make an emergency stop what let's take a look at some of these real fast um anything interesting noteworthy <gasps> We've won an award for the most beautiful park, fantastic, and the best sci-fi scenery? Well, we don't have any sci-fi scenery in this park yet, but that's great. <laughs> um, anything else awesome? It doesn't seem like it. A lot of peeps are thirsty. Ugh, they're thirsty for the D. For the drink. Get your mind out of the gutter. Where could we make some more drink stands? I mean, we have two sections. We have this drink stand down here in the food court. Is anybody riding our car ride? Not really. Why not? That's kind of sad. What's wrong with our car ride? Any thoughts? Nope. Nobody really just wants to ride it. That makes me sad. Okay. This little shower area looks really nice. It's really nice to have this here because when guests enter the pool, they can like wash off real fast and so they don't contaminate the water. And on their way out, they can wash off the chlorine if they don't like chlorine in their hair, if they feel nasty and stuff, before they go out to the rest of the park. So that's always really nice. I feel like I say really nice really often, and I don't really know why. So I should probably add some trees and stuff right here, and maybe some lights? Let's go ahead and try that real fast. We'll need lights. Coming to here, we'll add some pool lights over here, maybe right here as well. And we'll add some other pool lights like on the insides of the pool, just so it lights up and looks really nice. I say nice way too often. I should think of different adjectives. Fancy, glamorous, beautiful, 
I guess I do say a lot of different adjectives too now that I think about it. There's just not enough. I should probably have a lifeguard over here just in case something goes wrong on these water slides. Just in case somebody hits their head. Let's go ahead and open up these two water slides up here before we decorate it. Just so more guests can have things to do. I put them more in the wrong part of the sentence. That way the guests have more things to do. I guess, I don't know. Okay. Now, I believe it's time to tackle the rest of this castle. So I'm going to get down to it. These guests are really enjoying these water slides, it looks like. I'm really happy for them. Okay, so I am finally done. That only took 5 billion years, but I think it is probably worth it. It's looking pretty spanking awesome. Mm hmm, spanking awesome. Also, during the nighttime, it also looks good. Look at all those lights. They're even on the inside. I think this looks really freaking cool. And you can also see inside right here as well, so you can see the lines and stuff. I think it looks beautiful. So beautiful. I'm very proud of this. I actually didn't think it would turn out this good, but it turned out so freaking awesome. Oh, gasming everywhere. I'm not sure how much time I have to work on other stuff though, because my recording has been going on for an hour and a half now. It literally took that long to make that. Yeah, so I guess real fast we can try to make a barrier or see what it's going to look like. Anything nice? Any good options? Let's see, actually, maybe Caribbean style wall will look better. Those are not walls. No, walls. Please, thank you. Um, any of these look good? These are all bamboo style. I don't think that's gonna really work. How about a Sultan Palace? Ah, uh, this brick wall might actually work. I'm gonna try this real fast. Oh no. The ground's not flat. These are gonna be like floating. 
Maybe this isn't the best idea. Do fences kind of bend in with the ground? I don't remember. I think they might. Yeah, fences will be better because they actually kind of do the whole bendy thing. So I'm going to put like a fence that separates these two halves of the park. Uh, let me get rid of that fence. There we go. That looks good. Alright guys, well I know I didn't talk that much this episode, it was mostly building, not that much commentary. I mean there was a small amount of commentary, but it was a lot of building, but it needed to be done. Anyways, I'm getting to about an hour and 45 minutes of my recording in about 200 gigabytes on this video size, so I need to stop before I run out of computer space, so thank you all so much for watching this episode of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. I am attacking two cans, and we got so much done this episode. Remember, I need names for those two new water slides, and I'll pick my favorites next episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!